Hello, I'm here with Intelsat and I'm pleased to be joined by Joel Schroeder. Now, Joel, thank you for joining me today. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with SatCube. So SatCube are a strategic partner for Intelsat, a very innovative and interesting company that's recently brought to market a very portable satellite terminal that enables high throughput uh, connections to the internet to user applications uh, through a, a terminal that you can literally put into a backpack, carry with you anywhere. Now, how did the relationship come about? Why did you choose SatCube? Well, I think we've seen a lot of innovation in the satellite space, I think driven somewhat by some of the new Sat companies and a number of small uh, product developers like SatCube, uh, bringing interesting new opportunities into the market. We also at the same time saw a real opportunity for a higher throughput land mobility service and they just seemed to be a natural pairing. They were bringing a capability into the market that was in high demand. We have the satellite assets that can provide a service over that, uh, over that very small terminal. So we just saw a natural pairing to, uh, to reach out and start working with SACUBE. Now bringing into this is the Flex platform. Tell me a little bit more about that. So Flex is Intelsat's managed service platform. It runs over our epic fleet of satellites, delivers high throughput capabilities across a number of markets. On the Flex platform, we've recently launched a service called FlexMove. FlexMove is our land mobility service. It supports both connected mobility and portable connectivity. So comms on the move and comms on the pause. So we offer the SatCube terminal as our primary solution for comms on the pause. We have other uh, hardware capabilities that enable true comms on the move as well. Um, there are a number of other services in the market that you may be aware of, traditional mobile satellite services that have uh, delivered these kinds of capabilities for many years. Most of those are relatively low data rate. With FlexMove, we offer something in the megabits per second rather than kilobits per second uh, speeds. Now, talking about the targets for your relationship with SatCube, what are the key segments that you're really interested in? Well, there's a number of segments that have a need for this kind of uh, this kind of uh, communication service, or uh, I would you know I would say that one of the most obvious ones is probably disaster response. People will think of disaster responders that have to deploy quickly, set up, and be able to connect uh, from virtually any location on the globe. Uh, without uh, having access to terrestrial infrastructure. So of course it's one of the markets that we're, we're certainly interested in, whether it be large UN agencies or you know typical smaller NGOs that are out doing this kind of work. Media is another segment, of course, where you've got event-based users, again, those that need to deploy to a remote location to be able to report on the events that are happening uh, in those locations. But beyond those event-based users, of course, we also see you know, high demand for remote exploration in mining, oil and gas. Again, it's those temporary users that need to deploy to a certain site for a limited period of time, need connectivity to enable what they're doing. In the case of remote exploration, it could be taking soil samples or other tests in, an, in a certain area and transmitting that data back to headquarters for some kind of real-time feedback and decision-making. Mobility market, a lot of competition. Why is Intelsat so successful? Well, I think we're talking here about a satellite land mobility capability. Um, this running over our high throughput EPIC satellites, it's a first of its kind service. What you see today in the market is typically limited to a few hundred kilobits per second. We're talking about uh, multiple megabits per second data rates. So what we bring is a multi-layered global network that's made up of um, our high throughput KU band satellites as well as some wideband satellite uh, capabilities. But what it means is that we're offering a network that has natural redundancy built into it. You have multiple satellites overlaying any part of the globe um, offering a very high throughput connection. So unlike other satellite based services in the market today, we can offer something that's not only much higher in performance, but also has much more built in redundancy and security than the other networks. Customers are always demanding more and more. How do you keep on top of this evolution and satisfy their needs moving forward? Well, I think a big part of that 
as well, our primary route to market is through uh, channel, through established companies that have relationships with key customers in all of these vertical markets. I think for us, though, it's important to also have a close relationship with the key players in those markets so that we can ensure that we're staying on top of their requirements and continuing to look at how we can evolve our service capabilities and how we can continue to work with partners like SACUBE to evolve the terminal capabilities to stay on top of their needs. The satellite sector is always undergoing change, it's always evolving. What does the future hold? Let's look forward 12 months. What do we see are going to be the challenges? In 12 months' time, I think the challenges are going to be keeping up with the demand for a service like the one that we're bringing to market. But of course, we're also seeing uh, a lot of other new entrants into the market that are focused on mobility as well. You have a lot of the, uh, the new SAC companies. Um, I think what's going to be interesting to watch is just how much room there is in the market for many of these companies to come in and offer a product that we're able to deliver all already over an established uh, network uh, with a company that has more than 50 years experience in this uh, in this segment. Well Joel, interesting times, look forward to speaking to you again. Yes, thank you.